In this tutorial, we'll go over using probe lighting to remove inefficiencies of light maps. Instead of lighting the small objects with light maps, we'll use probe lighting. This is more efficient for small objects that would use lots of charts if they use light maps. From the Show menu, select Use Defaults to show the level with the default editor visualizations. In the World Outliner, double click the actor Props Rubbish Bag 19 to focus on it. Like everything else in the level right now, the actor is lit by a light map. We can see this under Details, Enlighten, Lighting Mode. Like the lamppost in the previous video, this actor is making inefficient use of light maps. Let's change that. Hold Ctrl to select multiple actors and select the nearby Props Rubbish Box 39 and Props Rubbish Box 43 actors. In the Details panel, under Enlighten, Set Asset Lighting Mode, select Probe to change the lighting mode for actors that use these meshes. The Set Asset Lighting Mode property controls the lighting mode of the static mesh used by the actor. It affects all the actors that use the asset. Under Show, Enlighten, Enable Lighting Mode. This shows the lighting mode used by the actors in the level. Actors that use light maps are orange. Actors that use probe lighting are green. Before changing the lighting mode, the actors are orange, indicating that they use light maps. But after changing the lighting mode, they are green, indicating that they use probes. The following actors use small static mesh assets that would be best lit using probe lighting. Using Details, Enlighten, Set Lighting Mode, set the probe lighting mode for all static mesh assets used by these actors. Actors using the probe lighting mode are excluded from enlightened computations, so they don't emit light onto other actors. We want the illuminated signs in our level to emit light, so we'll continue to use light maps to light these signs. Note that the lighting could be more efficient if we use the Contribute Probe Lighting Mode, but we'll cover that option later. From the Show menu, select Use Defaults to show the level with the default editor visualizations. Next, we'll talk about using shared light maps. 